So order picked up and I guess there was an issue. I don't know how to get back into the screen after I give him my driver code and I should have known better because uh, that Walmart employee and I love them all. Hustling high in a cloud! What is going on my hard working, forever hustling gig economy drivers? It's Tony, your hustling hyena, and today is day number 40. Day number 40 of trying to save 12 to $15,000 for a Turo car. Day 40 is incredible. I'm super happy that I've had the motivation to keep going. And I really appreciate every one of you who join is part of the Hustling Hyena clan and likes and comments on my video. So thank you. Anyway, I'm here at the Walmart. I ended up getting an order. It's like seven miles or something. I think closer to eight, but this for $28 is my first order. I'm gonna go ahead and get this loaded up. As I'm waiting though, I do have my Instacart going. I have my DoorDash and my Grubhub. I'm trying to see if I can at least make this hour $35 an hour since it's gonna be a really long drive for me. This is the way. What's going on, my friend? Is that mine? Yeah. All right, what's going on? How you been? I have a driver code of two six. I used to see you work later. Oh, smart. That's the way to do it. Uh, you know what? I don't know what it is anymore. How do I get this? How do I get back to it? One eternity later. Is there anything else you can do on your end? I just say code doesn't work. Okay. Thanks. You have to scan all of them? Yeah. Alright, here you go, bro. What's up, man? You having issues? Okay. So order picked up and I guess there was an issue. I don't know how to get back into the screen after I give him my driver code and I should have known better because uh, that Walmart employee and I love them all. No. If anyone knows how to get back to the driver code, after they press the button to scan the labels, let me know because I kind of failed on that one. So orders dropped off and I ended up getting an order from Grubhub that's for about 4.2 miles is $9.17, which I think is pretty good. It's gonna take me back to the Walmart. The unfortunate part though is that I did end up getting a Walmart order and that Walmart order was for five miles for $14. So that's pretty heartbreaking. Hopefully by the time I drop off the Grubhub order, maybe DoorDash will come through with a $10 order so we can kind of make this hour okay because $14 for five miles is pretty bad. Hey, what's going on, man? I have a pickup for Tracy. Tracy? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So that was the same one. Nice, thanks, man. I don't know. Alrighty, thank you. Thank you, bro. 
What's going on, officers? Ah, I shouldn't even put it back there, should I? Nah, I'll put it back here. Uh, so, before anyone starts complaining, pizza bag, this doesn't fit the pizza bag. How do I know that? Because this is the only place that I know that the pizza bag just doesn't work. Put that right here. Yeah, see that? It ain't fitting, my friends. Yeah, I'll be complaining. <laughs> Are you the pizza? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, it's good to know where you guys are at for next time. <laughs> Look who I found here. How's your day going? Good. Just kind of, uh, that was oh, terrible. Come on, girl. Instacart? How good was it? Two for 37. There Mine. was another one though. I got a notification. All it said was $52. But then as soon as I clicked on it, it says someone else accepted it. I didn't accept so it. So in my head, I'm just like, it was for three orders, 11 miles. We're fine. I'm trying to chill out. I have a terrible one for $14 for five miles. Yeah, you know what I did that one? Reject. <laughs> I should have, but oh. what happened? The Kia is freaking out. How was Hawaii? Hello, I remember you had a baby. Hello. So I'm gonna leave it right here if that's okay. Oh. Or do you have oh, yes, I remember you had a baby, you. right? That. Yeah, of course. Ooh, you got you, it? Um, hold on, I have some cash for you. Oh, thank you. There you are. Oh my God, thank Take you so care. much. Have a wonderful day. The $14 order turned into a $17 order. So, love the tips as always. No matter how much it is, it's always appreciated. <laughs> Off to the next drop off. <laughs> light work, light work. This is light work. There. Hello, have a good one. Order dropped off and you gotta believe people when they say spark just isn't what it used to be just got an order it's just one drop off but it's twelve dollars going five miles i got nothing else it was an open offer meaning that they didn't even decide to send me an offer whatsoever i might have been too far away but yeah this is pretty bad just picked up the order it's just a box of diapers and me and my buddy were making fun of each other because he was saying i'm looking old with this gray beard and my diapers arrived, which I thought was pretty funny. So order dropped off at the Motel 6 and I ended up getting an order for about $11, a little bit more than that for 2.2 miles, about six items. And uh, I went ahead and I took it. Smart and final. Instacart. And why? Because I kind of like to do Instacart. It's not a great order, but close enough to the Walmart that I hope Walmart will send me the round robin. Is it round robin or roundabout? I completely forgot already. Mm. All right, let's go. <laughs> Nope.
got the order loaded up in the car and what I wanted to happen happened. Got a $26 order. It's gonna go four miles and it's from Walmart Spark. So as soon as I get this dropped off, I can head over to the Walmart, pick that up and keep it going. So I got to the Walmart at a good time, but it is super busy. It is practically filled to the brim. Check this out. I was about to say the one next to me is not taken, but somebody about to come through. Yeah, this is packed. What up, bro? What happened? Why is it so busy right now? Talk to me. Dude, I got no idea. You have no idea why it's so busy? <laughs> Man, all right, what's going on, man? Did you have to scan every single one of them? Yeah. And now there's a driver code? What's the problem, brother? You think I'm playing with you guys? No, no, I've never seen anything like that. We, you guys have to scan them anyway, so. I know, man, I don't know. Let me do that one, because that one's small, bro. You got the yeah. other one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just playing, bro. You kind of overworking at Walmart? You still love it. <laughs> hey, what up, dog? I need you to move out the way. I don't want to hurt you. Please don't get hurt. Okay, good. He is waiting for me. Okay. All right, where would you like me to put this? Yeah, could you bring them in for me? Sure. Could you open the door uh, or? Yeah, if uh, not, I can do it. No worries. Okay. Uh, that's okay. All the way down the hallway to the end to the right. To that's the right. right. Thank you. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Order dropped off to Mr. Grant and he has been ordering for a while. I've actually delivered to him a few times in my lifetime. And I know it's kind of weird because you're not supposed to go inside, but he's a disabled vet. And uh, you know, I've had a conversation with him before about his prior military experience and stuff like that. And it was super fun. And so I feel comfortable putting the groceries inside even though a part of me still feels like I'm gonna get jumped, possibly because I'm originally from New York. But point is, do you guys ever go inside a house for Walmart Spark or any of the deliveries? I don't like to do it very often, but there's just a few people that, I don't know, I do it for. Walmart Spark orders dropped off and I ended up getting an order from Instacart back to Smart and Final. This one's for $12.57 going two miles. So everything happens for a reason and I'm glad I went ahead and I canceled that Instacart batch because as I'm getting closer to my Walmart, I ended up getting a shop and deliver order from Walmart for $19. It's only a few miles and it's five items look at the items right here this is gonna be done I don't know probably like in five minutes Order dropped off and I finally got a banger of an order, $30.13 going 2.8 miles at the other Walmart. The Walmart that usually is kind of better, it's just a little bit further and 
God, I'm out of breath. What is going on? Oh. Oh, sorry, little dog. Sky's the limit, guys. Sky's the limit. No, that is too. That's a big fail. That's a big fail. That's a big fail. Spark order completed and I think I got a unicorn order from Instacart. I don't know what the requirements are because I've seen different kinds, but this one's $50 that became an add-on for $60 total. Um, it is three drop-offs, but it's not that many miles. I think it's 100% worth it. To me, it's a unicorn. Let me know if you consider that a unicorn. night time and you know what that means it means i have no idea where i'm driving to luckily i finally found the address but it is hard to find at night it's not even that dark and it's hard to find look how small this is i think anyone driving can see that right there i think anyone driving real fast can see that or even driving slow this is a slow drive look look how hard it is to drive man put a line like directly under it or some big letters more of these guys i'm telling you more more of these Look. i gotta shine my light on it there's no light that's crazy I hate working in the dark. What's up, Wops? <laughs>